Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you and show you how you can add an image column to a SharePoint list. Now, we actually had this feature uh, for a while on lists. However, it was recently improved. So let me demonstrate the impact of that to you. So I have a list here, a list of projects uh, with a bunch of you know rows and columns or metadata of information. And I'm going to add another column. It's going to be an image type. And I guess let's just call it image. It could obviously be something else. Click Save. And let's go ahead now and add some images uh, to this row. So I'm going to modify this first row over here. And when you click Add an Image, you're actually prompted to upload an image from your computer. So let me choose one of the images I have. Here we go. And let's go ahead and select the second one. And again, I'm going to add an image here as well. So this is how it actually shows when the images have been uploaded. Uh, and as you can see, the images are kind of uh, fit into the size of the row. Um, so this might not necessarily look uh, that pretty. Uh, however, what you can do now is change the view. So instead of the list view that we have here, change it to gallery. And look at this you actually have this nice images taking the real estate over here and uh, essentially uh, you know becoming uh, like the header if you will uh, for that little card of information now in some cases when you add an image column and you change it to this uh, gallery view you might not necessarily have the image you know being the kind of the main header pin on top of all the other fields so here's what you need to do uh, click on the drop down and say format current view and it will open up this card designer over here let's click edit card and if you notice uh, it actually displays the image in my case uh, we, we got lucky and uh, essentially the image was picked up as kind of the main header but let's just say uh, you know what i want project manager field to be Kind of the top one the main one in that case what you need to do is just move it up and it, it essentially change the order if you will uh, within the card obviously after you make this change click save and in this case you know the card will be saved the view of the card will be saved so next time you navigate to this view uh it will display um you know this uh you know the fields in the order that you specified in this card designer so really, really powerful feature. Again, you can always switch back to the regular list and view it uh, just like it is, or you know, for much more visually appealing view, I always recommend a gallery view, and you can kind of view a little card for each and every entry. It makes it really uh, user friendly and visually appealing. All right, so that's all I wanted to mention in today's video. Hopefully you learned a new trick today. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.